Hey Sean, Mr. Ryan. Uh, decided to do a little video uh, showing you what I did with your your uh, swing set that I bought from you. And um, let's start with uh, when I got it together. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about as I'm doing it. Um, you probably noticed this that. The way that you had it bolted together, and I assume you got this as a kit, because they do sell them that way, but um, not the most stable way of doing it. And so, to demonstrate my welding abilities that we talked about, and also uh, show you, uh, oh, look at that, I didn't tighten that one nut there or two nuts but um I welded up this bracket first I tried it without the gusset in case you don't know what a gusset is this is a gusset it's uh it's a structural part that adds a lot of rigidity to a horizontal and a vertical uh, piece so basically the we have the horizontal by the way this is quarter inch uh, one and a half inch angle so it's a quarter inch thick one and a half one and a half and secured by a bolt on each end through the post and so there is no connection where originally you had the bolts it's all through this bracket and uh, I I did not I did not um, continue the bracket on this side on the back side. So I saved my labor and I saved the um, the materials. And it, obviously, if I did if I added all that, it would have added rigidity, but. I think when I show you how rigid it is, you'll uh, understand it. I, I really didn't think that extra, it would have been a lot of extra work and material and really wouldn't have gained me that much. After all, it's just a swing set. You just want it to be safe, right? And not, you don't want it to inhibit uh, the swingers, uh, swingers, probably swingy would be better. Um, the, you don't want it to inhibit the swingy's enjoyment of it. So uh, I'm using stainless steel hardware, and actually it was got it at Remetco instead of the big box. So it's only 82 cents a, a, a piece for the bolts. Um, okay, so let's go back to the actual structure. I've got one um, structural member on the back side that ties the two horizontals together, and then I have the gusset and then to tie it to the vertical or the horizontal um, it's a four by six on top these two bolts now when I first tried that without the gusset it, it definitely was much more rigid but it, I, I didn't like it I didn't think it was good enough I had considered the gusset when I first designed it when I say design I mean I sketched down a little piece of paper and in, uh, in my head mostly so, uh, so you know, it wasn't that big of a deal. I don't have a lot on my hands right now. You know, I'm not really going to work every day. So, uh, so I put the gusset in. The gusset made a huge, I probably doubled the rigidity, I would say. A third to a half. So it doubled it. Um, and if I were to do it again, and I wanted to make it any better. I could do a couple of things. I could extend this out longer. Now this is quarter inch plate steel. Eh, that's, I like to hold on to that stuff and only use it for things I have to use it for. So, um, but I could do that. I could bring it up to the top and, and a couple bolts there. Because really what, what flex remains in this 
if you can see that, it's not much. But what flex does remain is really the flex in the connection points. In other words, the bolts go through the wood, the holes are not entirely um, secured around the bolt. There's a little room for back and forth, otherwise the bolt wouldn't fit through there. And of course it's not threaded through the, through the uh, wood. It's only threaded on the end so but just to give you an idea I'm gonna put the camera down if I can find a level spot here and show you basically if I put all my 235 pounds on here and push I can get it moving back and forth maybe a half an inch to an inch that's pretty good compared to what it was and um, the main thing is it's safe um, it is not going to come down unless we get a tornado and i don't know that a tornado would lift it up because because these things are together each one of these is about 25 to 30 pounds and so let's say it's uh it's 60 to 75 pounds somewhere in there with the bolts and uh, the wood is pretty heavy, so and it doesn't catch a lot of wind. So, tornado, I don't think. I don't think a tornado is a problem. But um, your kids would long be gone if if the tornado hit, anyways. So, uh, so that's it. That's it. That that's uh, that's what I can do with metal. I can I can stick it together, and I kind of can come up with a design. The more of it I do, the better I get at it being just a, a hacker, not formally trained in welding. Um, okay, buddy, just thought you might enjoy seeing that. Uh, we'll catch you later. Bye.